Yo, what's good? It's your boy BS and Yeah here. You already know we live here at Mason Music Studios, and we're about to break down the beat today for J Dot Geek Man. Yo, so it's kind of crazy how like this record came about. So like I linked up with my my homie Hef, and he manages J Dot Geek, and they pulled up to my studio. It was like you know fucking with the aesthetics and shit, and like you know um, they just needed like. You know they just needed to lock in so i'm like all right cool um you know come circle back a couple of weeks we, we got a couple of records in and then um this night was super crazy like yo little tj had pulled up feel me um like this is like my second time meeting him um you know since like you know i, I used to work with him and shit like that before he blew up but like you know he came back around um jada had mad it was mad bitches in there i ain't gonna lie <laughs> It was the studio was packed. It was like mad people in there. The whole salary was in there, and um, you know we was just chilling and shit. And um, this is a beat that I had cooked up before they had like walked in the room and shit. And like I was really fucking with the beat. I'm like yo, this shit fake hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this shit fake hard. So TJ was fucking with it. He was supposed to hop on that shit, but like, like you know, for me he ended up dipping. But then I kept playing this beat back, playing this beat back after like we did like two other records that night. And then like nobody was really fucking with it like that. But then I was like, you know, I, they started being like, oh, we're gonna hop on the song and, um, you know, like, like let's just let's just see where it go and shit. And we ended up doing this shit. And it's like this one of like his hottest songs to me. You feel me? So yeah. So I came about this sample. Um, I I I think I. So what happened this night was is that like you know after I was like. We had some downtime in the studio. Ended up like just using like a, a little looper or uh, something from like a VST that I had. And um, ended up creating it. And it came out like a certain way, like very light or whatever. And I, you know, I liked it, but it wasn't like something that was fit in JDOT that night. So I just ended up like manipulating it. And I got like two different versions of it. And then when they got like a little bit like, it was still light, but a little bit dark. Like just, you know, like right in that dark, synthy, low frequency uh range and then you know i just started working on the beat like, all right so the drums for this beat i'm not gonna lie this was a little bit different like so like when i was really making this beat you know i was on the spot with it, it took me like about like i would say like 17 minutes to make this beat but i had to get the right bounce on this and i like i wanted like a i wanted like a uk drill type of vibe but i wanted like my own sound feel me like so like I'm really big on like sound and I feel like I have my own sound. So it was like, when I was making the beat, I'm like, yo, like, let me make the drums like this and like, like take the 808 and do this with it. And like make the bounce a certain way and put the hi-hat like this. And like, let me not do too much. Like may, let me simplify it to make it sound more fuller. So, all right, so um, I guess we go like one by one here. Um, right here, let's see what we got. So right here, this was, the counter stick, the counter arm um, snare. And um, basically like, you know, I laid it out like this. So I had that just to like to keep the rhythm of the beat and stuff. And then next was the hi-hats. For this particular beat, like I said, like I, I made it different. So like as you can see within the song within the song that like the 808 is not throughout the whole song is in specific parts. Um and that reason being is because at those specific parts is that that's why I want the song to like every I feel like every song should be played and made with feeling. You know? Like you should feel the song instead of you just, yeah, hey, let me just get this beat and just make it. You know what I'm saying? So um I basically like just like arrange the beat in a certain way so that nothing is like overlapping the next thing and like clashing with something else. Um, so the next thing that we have here is the kick. So this is the kick for the beat. Right after 
that, we have right here, which is the open hat. this and that's just basically like a little shaker and stuff like that um and then i'll play it with the melody too so this is how it starts from the beginning then on top of that like yo like i did this whole song in fl studio feel me like you know he pulled up i had the beat did the session um as you can see the vocals is here and i encourage more people to like that use fl studio to like to to like get more into your doll you know like because you know we got ableton we got reason we got logic we got pro tools and i feel like it's about it's about how you do it instead of what you're doing it with. And you know, like, yeah. so this is the beat, feel me? So play with the lyrics. I call myself that is because simply like look what I just did feel me like I got the beat I got the vocals I mixed it mastered it like they don't get no better than that feel me um but shout out to J.I. Geek shout out to Faded shout out to Mason Music Studio shout out to all my supporters uh shout outs to God most of all and Geek 